Hello, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Spirit and me, 1111. This is our Dust 1111 here doing your reading for the sign of Scorpio for May 2020. Scorpio is a water sign. So this reading may also resonate with the Cancer or Pisces as well as water is also your element. Tarot is timeless. These can be events that have already taken place, that are currently taking place, or that will take place for some of you, not all, some of you, Scorpios here in the near future, all right? Thanks to everyone liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. You guys are legit and so awesome. Thank you so much for that. Um, please continue to like, share me out, and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And hit the bell notification if you would like to be notified the next time I upload content on my YouTube channel. All right, everybody. I have a spirit animal oracle here for you. I like to start this with the Scorpios so we can see what spirit animal that you guys have rocking with you for this reading. Ooh, we have the elephant. Triumph over adversity. Ooh, we, that is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I am most definitely going into the book on this one. With this elephant card here. Spirit, what do we read for the lovely, lovely Scorpio? I'm surprised you guys didn't get the Scorpion card. That would have been pretty cool, right? <laughs> Scorpion for the Scorpios. Okay, so let's get this elephant here. <laughs> what is it, Kitty? So, unstoppable, auspicious, and wise is the elephant. All right? The elephant is arguably the most auspicious figure in the deck, like Ganesh. The elephant represents immense wisdom as well as good fortune. It is said that the great elephant is the destroyer of obstacles. So, if this card appears when you feel stuck, rest assured the path will soon become clear. To add to the mystery, the elephant is also known to create obstacles in order to steer us in the right direction. Trust this gentle, noble creature. It illuminates the way with the light of self-knowledge. Beautiful. Thank you, spirit. All right, creating obstacles kind of reminds me of Saturn energy. <laughs> um, so I also want to get a couple of planet cards maybe a few for you guys. I've been using my astrology cards here for my readings because, uh, you know, we all have all of the planets and signs in us at some point, depending on what's going on in the cosmos. It depends on, you know, the current moon phases of what energies are currently being activated through us at that point in time. So let's just see at this very moment what areas in your life are coming up for working on or clearing here or energies that are being introduced into your life. Uh, kind of like my cards to choose me and speak to me. Here's one. So we have Virgo here. You're dealing with the part of you that wants to serve like the Virgo here. This is the sixth house. Virgo is ruled by the planet of Mercury, which rules, um, governs over communication and intellect. So some of you guys are becoming very wise here. With the wisdom of the elephant here, you are wanting to serve and you are showing up larger than life in these areas here with the elephant being here. Very auspicious for you guys. Um, the energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, and humble with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air, you know? So it's like creating obstacles right now in your life. And um, I want more cards. <laughs> I want more cards. I kind of like that. You're being called to serve right now, Scorpio. You're dutiful and you need to serve right now. What other areas of Scorpio's life um, would you like to shine some light on here, Spirit, for the lovely, lovely, lovely sign of Scorpios? Please and thank you. The lovely, lovely signs. And I have that one. House card. First house, Aries. Some of you. Um... So Aries ruled by Mars being the god of war. This is what people see and the impression you give to the world. It is how you show up in the world. And with Aries energy here, I see you as being someone who is a go-getter and who is willing to and ready to show up and take action and tackle your 
dreams, duties, obstacles, challenges head on, you know, just ready to go for it. Um, Aries energy is very, um, it's cardinal energy because Aries starts the spring equinox. So it's about initiation here. You're given the power from the zodiac, from the planets here and from the houses of astrology to just go for it, you know? It's telling you you're larger than life and you were born to serve here. Take action and go towards that, that it is that is calling out to your soul with the transformative energy that you possess naturally, being that um, Pluto does rule your sign, Scorpio, right? The planet of transformation. It's very, very good information coming out here. And one more card, another house card. The fourth house, Cancerian energy. You're concerned with matters of your home and your family right now, front and center in your life, um, your roots and your beings right now. So how, who you are and how you are showing up in life to you is everything. And it's all centered around family, your close connections and your ties, and you're very home driven. So you do a lot of everything close to home for some of you. You could even want to serve or work from home. So some of you could be tarot card readers here with Virgo. You could be in the communicative um field you could be speakers or writers or journalists i am seeing for some of you guys okay now i like to get a psychic tarot oracle for you guys to see what messages do we have coming from the psychic tarot oracle for the lovely lovely scorpio all right what do we have my cat can just sit on my laptop and Turn off my binaural and I was playing here. She is such a little baby. We have light, Ooh, 19 and six, victory and success. All oh, right, I do need the book for these. Bear with me as I give you guys the most accurate readings I possibly can. Let me show you your cards here. You have light and you have victory and success here. Let's go for your first card, light number 19. That's from the major arcana. Okay, so with your light activation card here, this card reassures you, and I don't know if you can see that, my loves. This card reassures you that this is your time to be in the light. Hey, be in the light, I told you guys. Awesome. All right. No matter what's happening around you, prosperity and bliss are promise. The qualities of this brilliant card are pleasure, happiness, Contentment, growth, success, joy, and illumination. The light always brings forth new birth. A constant renewal of life. Scorpio being the transformative phase. Scorpio, the planet Pluto is the god of the underworld. So he rules death. This is what I'm adding in. I'm reading from the book for your oracle, but I always do my ad libs and add in here because, you know, that's what I do. So, dang, that's really, really good for you guys. Um... The light always brings forth new birth, a constant renewal of life. This is one of the best, if not the most positive cards in the deck, and it's yours. Wow. This is now your moment to shine. The radiance from within will be there for all to see as people become attracted to the rays of your spiritual light. And by being compassionate, generous, inspiring, and a leader, many will benefit as they feel the warmth emanating from you. Be discerning, but also be open to whatever or whomever you're attracting for your rays reach far and wide. Beautiful. And number six here. I'm a totally, totally different part of my book. Bear with me, my lovelies. Okay, it's gotta be this one. Okay, so with your victory and success card here guys i'm getting good news is on the way the qualities of this positive card are completion victory and success that often follow a difficult period many around you are very proud to see how you triumphantly came through it and i told you guys oh i just got the chills triumph over adversity you're standing in the light with that sun energy here victory and success is yours beautiful um, many people around you are very proud to see how you triumphantly came through it. They respect you. They respect you and may even attempt to follow your example. You've worked hard and devoted much time and effort to this point in your life. When you've become wiser and you've grown in so many ways, always remember to stop and pat yourself on the back. You deserve it. This card also reminds you to stay grounded. Remember where you came from and keep your ego in check. 
Don't lose who you really are. This victory can be used as a teaching tool for the future. Realize that if you came through this challenging time, you can achieve anything. And that is so beautiful, Spirit. Thank you so, 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 so much for that lovely, awesome oracle messages for the sign of Scorpio. Now I'll be going into some tarot for you guys. All right. Going into some tarot for the sign Scorpio for their May 2020 tarot card reading, my loves. What do you have for my Scorpios? For this May, ooh, I'm not taking those, but this one I will. The Magician, ooh, creating a life by design, not default here. That is Gemini Virgo energy here. And we do have Virgo here as well. The Virgo card showed up. So some of you guys are in the public eye as speakers. Some of you guys could be radio, TV personalities. Or this is a point in your life that you are definitely going to be recognized with that sun energy and the magician here. And um, the very, very auspicious card of the elephant. You're making your way through after those challenges and you are standing in your power, becoming stronger, wiser, and better as you go. So believe in your faith, self and keep the faith, hope, and confidence that you need moving forward. Please do that. The moon Cancerian energy. We're dealing with the Pisces as well. All right, let me cut. I wasn't going to cut, but I feel the need to cut here. Oh, death card, Scorpio. Your energy is here. Ten of cups, nine of cups, and justice. So with the moon face here, it's about powerful epiphanies. Things that are going on behind the scenes. Some things being hidden from you that you may not know about right now. But those phases in your life are all cycling out here. You have things that are being cycled out of your life because new things are coming in death here being transformation and rebirth here you know it's all about who you are becoming and what you are standing in and on and knowing that you have everything you need right now at your disposal right now that you are a magic manifester and a co-creator of your life's experience so be true to yourself and know that what you deserve and desire and those thoughts and feelings and emotions that you have about your future, be it good or bad, you will attract that into your experience. So be very careful. All right. Right now, what you are, what's front and center in your life and your connection from your, your person is stability, emotional stability, a happy home or family life. Or this is something that you definitely could be headed towards. Something that you can see as being a wish fulfillment type of moment. Because you have so much going on right now in your life with the victory and success. Being in the sun here. Um, you are just really having good communication with Mercury being here. Making an appearance twice. You are having better communication with family and friends at this point. Your relationships and love could be growing and going to the next level. Your life is getting so magical to you right now. Like the magician, your alchemy feels so magical. Your aura right now, the right that you emanate to the world, to people around you, they see that as something that they want to be a part of. Happiness is very contagious here. And you're living in your wish right now. You're living in your wish fulfilled because you are coming into your gifts. Um, Libra here, this is about justice, a win being in your favor. You can be dealing with a Libra here. So I have um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces here with the Cups cards. I only have two minor arcanas here and the rest are magicians for now. So yeah, definitely somebody could possibly be dealing with a Libra or just wanting to have that justice, just wanting to have that win in your favor here with the legal situation. It could even be that some of you guys are actually in court and dealing with a legal situation. I want a couple more cards from this deck. Then I'll go into some kicker and then we'll get clarifying for you guys. So yeah, um, what messages, if any more, do we have at this point of the reading for the lovely sign of Scorpio spirit? Um, seven of pentacles and ace of wands something you've been wanting to manifest for a very long time in your life and your experience scorpio something that you have put time into that you are probably not really being patient about right now because like you want it right now you've done the work you've planted the seeds and what's going to come of this is going to be that victory and success is going to be like a big big 
burst of energy of ambition of creativity here ace of wands new fiery passion to start you're starting new business endeavors new relationships with people you're connecting to your soul um tribe in this point at your life and it's a very magical time for you again with the magician here anything you touch is turning to gold right now you have the midas touch okay you have the midas touch everything you plant when you plant those pentacles and you see how golden and beautiful and abundant they grow that's that ace of wands type energy that you have in your life and on your side right now right you have that going in your favor and what it's doing right now is creating the life of your dreams that that you could have only wished and hoped for is coming to fruition for you beautiful beautiful energy Ooh, i love that so there will be an extended version of this reading down below in the description box. You guys can go over there after the reading. Follow me to Vimeo. For those of you who would like to purchase or rent that, thank you in advance. All right. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Courthouse. So we have courthouse and justice here. Someone is definitely having a situation go on, has some type of um, litigation going An occupation. One more card here, Spirit, from the Kipper Oracle. One more card here, occupation, Ace of Wands. Somebody is really, really loving their job and has found a new love and interest in their job. Probably getting the job of your dreams with the Ace of Wands occupation here and Nine of Cups. Then you have victory and success. Someone is definitely getting the life that they deserve. Um, some of you are being thrust into the spotlight with that Sun card here. And um, something that you've manifested is something you worked really, really hard about. And what's going to come now, the way it's going to come busting out of the seams right now is going to be, um, you know, a little breathtaking for you. It's going to put you in a place that, you know, you are just really manifesting your ass off and it all looks good where I'm sitting. Sudden wealth. Okay. Yep. You guys have occupation, courthouse, and sudden wealth. Let me address it in the way that I feel it is meant. So you guys, because you're really loving yourself through hard work and everything you're doing, you're going to be coming into a windfall of money here with sudden wealth. This could be an inheritance or somebody just wanting to come your way and give you money. But there are financial um, blessings coming your way here because of something that you've worked really hard for. Some seeds that you've planted here in the past are coming to fruition for you right now. Some of you, this could be winning a settlement in court or a lawsuit. For some of you, it could have something to do with a worker's comp situation here being a occupation card is there as well. All right, with the justice card here in the courthouse, someone is going to have a win in their favor and is going to create a sudden wealth for them, like coming into a um, lump sum of money for some of you, from something that has been long awaited in your life and your experience. Okay, so um, magical mermaids and dolphins. I like a message from these guys before we go on over to Vimeo and clarify for the Scorpios what is coming their way. But you guys already have a beautiful reign of Scorpios. I love you guys so much. I just want to give y'all a hug right now. I hope whoever messages this is for is coming to fruition for. Know that you deserve it. Know that you are worth it and know that you are loved. And that the universe loves you and that's why all of this abundance and beauty and awesomeness is coming into your life it is karma being paid back in kind for things that you have done in your life over the years for the seeds that you have planted for the relationships that you have had with others man forgiving and loving those that may even didn't deserve it at some point in their life um, for allowing things to die off in your life maybe having somewhat of a hard time in the beginning accepting things that were ending here with the moon type of energy subconsciously having a hard time getting over something that was cycling out of your experience in your life um and you have positive energy here and protection so you your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven right victory and success and a happy family life here your relationships, your connections are all being protected by the angels. And, you know, you have that divine protection right now from the universe. That's beautiful. That's a reason to celebrate. You're living your best life. You know, the turn up is real around here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some of you guys are just really, really experiencing that Ace of Wands. That's a new passion. Love. That's a fiery start. That's living your best life. That's just like, man, like how much better can this get with the Ten of Cups? You really ain't gonna get no happier than that. You guys got love. You got money. You got alchemy. Ooh, <laughs> alchemy. Jeez. Mm, spirit. Yes. 
alchemy here. I told you guys, you are the magician in your world. You are creating right now. You're manifesting your ass off. Sudden wealth, 10 of cups, nine of cups, victory and success. You're manifesting your ass off. So what you doing, Scorpio? That's what's up. I'm so sorry for cursing, guys. I'm just feeling it so much. You have the Midas touch right now. And every project you begin turns to gold. <laughs> everything you begin, everything you plant turns to gold. <laughs> it turns to gold. Do you see that? You are so, so magical. I don't even know if you know the energies that are with you and on your side and rocking with you right now. But um, I'm going to head on over to Vimeo and clarify this. And I don't have any specific questions because there's not a whole lot concerning love as far as I'm concerned here. This is more about you, your growth, your life, and the processes and the path that you are on. Let's head over to Vimeo and clarify some, you know, see what Spirit wants you to know. See what Spirit wants to add to this already beautiful, abundant message. And thank you all so much. Namaste.